All right, students, so I just wanted to make a quick video on density. Uh, we didn't spend a ton of time on it, so I wanted to make this video to kind of clear things up. Um, so what is density? Density was developed by Archimedes, well, at least Archimedes is getting credit for it, um, as a way for us to compare two different objects. And so if the objects have different volumes, they're, they're different sizes, it makes us really hard to compare their masses. And that's really what Archimedes wanted to determine, like, which objects have more mass or are made up of more stuff. So what Archimedes did, he said, all right, well, we should just normalize this. And so we'll basically create this concept of density, which is basically a unit rate for mass. It's amount of mass for a given volume. So if we have these two rectangular prisms here that have the same volume, this one has more stuff in it. So it's made up of more stuff, so it's more dense. This one has less stuff. It's less dense. So that's all really density is. It's just a unit rate of mass to kind of normalize a way to compare them. So let's look at this example. We looked at this example in class. Um, basically a wooden cube has an edge of six centimeters and a mass of 137.8 grams. Determine the density of the cube to the nearest thousandth and then we can figure out what type of wood it's made up of. So different woods have different densities and again this is grams per volume so grams is our mass measure and centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters is our volume measure so that's what density is density is mass divided by volume and if we want sometimes we're gonna have to find our mass and what we could do is just multiply both sides by volume and then you'd get mass equals volume times density so Generally, you don't have to solve for um, volume with these calculations, but you could, right? You could just, if you know mass and density, you could figure out the volume of the object. So here we go. So this cube has six centimeters on each side. So if we want to figure out the volume of this cube, remember it's the area of the base times the height. And so the area of this base is six times six. So six times six is 36 centimeters squared or squared centimeters. So basically this base here is made up of 36 one by one squares. So if I multiply that base by the height of six centimeters, then I get 216 cubic centimeters. So that's our volume. Now, what am I trying to find? Well, I'm trying to find density because I need to figure out which of these densities matches the wood. So what do I know? Well, I need to figure out grams per cubic centimeter. I know 137.8 grams right here. I know that's the mass of this cube and I know the volume. So I have to divide these, use the units to help you. That's what my physics teacher taught me long ago. If I think about the units and I don't think about the numbers, right, grams per cubic centimeters. So that means I need to divide the grams by the volume, the cubic centimeters. So 137.8 grams divided by 216 cubic centimeters. What does that leave me? 0.638 grams per cubic centimeter. And that's our density unit, 0.638. And so it's ash. So let's take a look at one more example. So this is another problem, and I, I wanted to talk about this problem because we didn't really talk about volumes of spheres at all. So a hemisphere is just half a sphere, and so we know the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, so a hemisphere is going to be half that, or 2 thirds pi r cubed. So a hemisphere, hemispherical tank is filled with water and has a diameter of 10 feet. If water weighs 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, so well, I'll come back to that. What is the total weight of the water in a full tank to the nearest pound? So this is, we're using density to figure this problem out, and I apologize to all of you scientists out there. Pounds is generally a weight formula, uh, only really applies to Earth because of gravity, so it's not a mass calculation, but we can still use the same concept of density to, to figure out this problem. So I'm gonna use mass and weight interchangeably um, but in reality, they are two different things. And so just 
want to make sure that we clarify that for anybody that takes physics. So let's draw the hemisphere. There's my hemisphere. Let's go ahead and throw in some water in there. And by the way, 62.4 pounds per cubic foot is the actual weight of water. 10 feet is the diameter, so that means our radius would be half that, which would be five feet. Let's throw in some fish. We have some fish like that. We have a little clownfish. We used to have a little purple fish. He uh, no longer is with us, unfortunately. Okay, so I have this hemispherical tank. I need to put it on a stand because the hemisphere isn't gonna sit very well. So I'll put it on a stand, put a little structure in there for the fish to hide from the clownfish. This, by the way, clownfish are quite mean, unlike Nemo. Um, just be careful if you get clownfish. All right, so volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. But it's a hemisphere, half a sphere. I don't know why it's not called a semi-sphere, but whatever. So it's going to be two-thirds pi r cubed for this hemisphere. So we know the radius is five. So what is five cubed? Five cubed is 125. So that leaves us with two-thirds pi times 125, or that's approximately equal to 261.8 cubic feet. All right, that's our volume of our hemisphere. Now, remember, mass equals volume times density, or in this case, we're gonna talk about weight. So the weight is the volume of this times its density. We know its density in this case is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply these two things. So again, think back to my physics teacher in high school, what they told me. So Mr. Hoffman said, all right, Fitz, just ignore the numbers and think more about the units over here. Think about these units. Cubic feet and pounds per cubic foot. I have to multiply these because if I multiply them, then these cubic feet cancel out. They simplify, right? Feet, cubic feet divided by cubic feet, that's just one. So that just leaves me with pounds. So if I'm looking for pounds, I need to multiply these two things together. So if you use your units, you will never get lost in a problem. So if I multiply these two things, 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, that's my density, uh, density value, and 261.8 cubic feet, that gives me 16,336 pounds approximately. So there you have your answer. Look, notice this one here, that's twice that. That means that's if you forgot to divide it by two because it's a hemisphere. Um, I'm not sure where these other answers come from. Anyway, I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.